Hello everyone. In this presentation, I am going to explain about the importance of setting the ideal speed and torque in an endomotor while doing root canal treatment. Whenever it comes to the speed and the torque settings for any specific file system which you are using, we always say that we have to follow the manufacturer's instructions. Let's see about the manufacturer instruction for one of the common file system which is the ProTaper Gold. The recommended speed is in the range of 300 and the torque is from 1.5 to 5.1 Newton per centimeter. But there is a footnote which states that this file should not be used in case of severe and sudden apical curvatures due to heightened risk of separation. So that indicates that this recommended settings are not for every clinical situation. For a straight root canal tooth which has no calcifications or pretty wide root canals, in those situations we can follow these settings. But what about the clinical situations where there are calcifications, where there are curvatures and so it is not the same settings or the not the same speed and torque settings for every clinical situation. So for every clinical situation and for every file that you are going to use, the speed and torque settings are going to be very different. So it is essential that being a person who does root canal treatment in day-to-day -day practice, it is essential to know the importance of the speed and torque in endodontics so that we can prevent the file separations. By the way, I am Dr. Benin and if you are interested in my videos, subscribe to my YouTube channel Smart Dentistry. I will make videos which will be useful for dentists and dental students. And if you are a beginner starting with rubber dam in your clinical practice, kindly en enroll for my course in Udemy rubber dam in clinical practice. I will put a link below in the description. First, we have to understand what is speed. The speed is at which the number of rotations that the endorondic file will make per minute. Usually we, we set the speed in the range of around 250 to 350. We will see more about the speed in the coming sessions. And what is torque? Torque can be called in simple term as the power or it's the energy or it is the rotational force by which the file rotates. So if the torque is less, the file rotation inside the root canal will be weak. And if the torque is high, it is going to be a very powerful instrument. So let's see what's the difference between the speed and torque. So let's see a simple example so that we can understand it easily. So there are two motor vehicles one has a very powerful engine and other has a very weak engine. Both of these riders are going to climb up a steep hill in the road. So they are going traveling at a constant speed. The one which is having a powerful engine, we know that it can climb up the hill, but the one with a weak engine cannot climb. Why? Because the power is less, because the torque is less. Now, at the same time, if the vehicle which is having a less powerful engine is driven in a high speed, automatically it can go up in the hill without any trouble. So, how does the same engine but we increase the speed and it could go up in the hill. We can understand that there is a relationship between the speed and torque. So let's see about the speed and torque settings in an endomotor. Basically, I do not use this endomotor just for demonstration purpose. I am showing this. The speed setting in a typical endomotor can be in the range of around 130 to 600 in this case, but depending upon the endomotor, it can be different, maybe in the range of 100 to 2000. 
certain file system needs a higher speed recommendation for that there are endomotors which supports up to 2000 rotations per minute so at a slower speed the file will rotate at a very slow speed and at higher speed maybe 600 it rotates fast so it is there is nothing to know about that so at the same time the torque settings for the file also will be in the range of maybe from around 0 0.6 to 4 so that's the range of the torque in most of the endomotors but it can be different also but uh, there are endomotors which have torques up to uh, 5 so the torques also can be the torque setting can also be made in the range of 0 0.6 to 4 or as per the different file system so we are not going to see how to set the torque or what's the uh, torque setting for each file system we are going to understand about the different concepts we are going to learn about the ideal speed and torque for every file that you are having after understanding this if you are picking up a file from your dental office and you will be able to uh, set the ideal torque and the speed without seeing the manufacturer's instructions. First, let's see about a file. A 20 size file with a 2% taper. So what should be the ideal speed and torque setting for this file? Okay, so let's see about this file. This file is going to be very flexible, especially in the apical part it is going to be highly a flexible instrument whenever we are setting up the torque that is the power we have to understand one thing the endomotor which will be calculating and controlling the torque through the feedback from the handle so it will get feedback from the handle because handle is the one which is attached to the endomotor but is it actually the same torque or the force is present throughout the entire file from the handle to the tip of the file no it is going to be different in the tip of the file whatever the torque is exerted will not be transmitted to the handle why because the nickel titanium files are elastic they are flexible so once the flexibility of the file increases the torque which is exerted in the file tip will not be transmitted to the handle and the endomotor cannot calculate the real torque which the file is experiencing so what we have to do is so to a safety level we always try to set the torque to the lower limit why are we setting or why we have to set the torque to a lower limit because the handle cannot read the torque which is experienced by the file why the nickel titanium files are going to be very flexible and second is we shall see about a file which is four percentage but the same tip size how Let's compare the 2% and the 4% file. So the 4% file is con considerably more rigid compared to that of the 2% file. So the torque setting can be higher in case of a 4% file. So for example, if you are setting a torque of 1.5 for a 2% file, we can set a torque of 2 or 2.5 for a 4%. Why? Because the file is going to be rigid. And what about a 6% file taper? So the 6% file is going to be more rigid compared to that of the 4%. So the torque settings will be increasing or we have to set from a lower to a higher torque as the taper increases 2% the least torque 4 percentage a medium and a 6 percentage taper a higher torque 
Why? Because the rigidity of the files are increasing as the taper of the files are also increasing. The same thing applies to the file sizes also. For example, 20, we can less set the lower torque and for 25, we can set a little higher and 30 and we can keep on increasing the torque. Hope you are getting the point. Lesser the flexibility, the higher the torque. More flexibility, lesser the torque. Why? You know the reason. Because a rigid file can sense or can send the feedback from throughout the file through the handle and the endomotor can sense it. But for a flexible file, which will not happen. Torque keep increasing as the rigidity of the file increases. So what about the speed settings? The speed have to reduce as the rigidity increases. Why? Because if you have seen my video on the stop file fracture, I will put a link in the description also. If you have seen the video or I would urge that you people can watch that video so that it will be easy to understand it. As the rigidity increases, the file may undergo more of a flexural failure. So because of the repeated flexion and extension, the rigid files will undergo more of flexural failure. So as the rigidity increases, the speed has to reduce. For a 2% 20 size file, we can set the speed for around 400 and maybe for a 4% uh, taper, we can set it around 300. Maybe for a 6% taper file, you can set it around 250. So the speed have to reduce at the same time, the torque have to increase. So now if you are picking up a file which is present in your dental clinic, you can easily say that if it is going to be a flexible instrument, then we have to reduce the torque and increase the speed. And if it is going to be a rigid instrument, then we have to increase the torque and reduce the speed. Hope this concept is quite clear. Now let's see a good example for this. Here there is a file which is having a greater taper. This is a orifice opener and it is short short and a rigid file maybe which is a bulkier one so what will be your torque and the speed settings for such a situation is it flexible no it is going to be rigid why it is a bulkier rigid instrument what about the torque setting so it has to be higher torque setting and what about the speed because this instrument is rigid the rigid instruments when if it is rotated at a higher speed it will fracture so we have to reduce the speed hope you are getting the concept so any rigid instruments we have to reduce the speed and increase the torque okay so now let's come to the next important criteria okay so is it going to be the same for a 21 millimeter length instrument and a 25 millimeter length instrument the tip size is same the taper is same only the length is different do we have to follow the same torque or a different torque the manufacturer says that we have to follow the same torque because there will be no difference recommended by any manufacturers compared to a 21 millimeter and a 25 millimeter files but in truth, a 25 millimeter file is more flexible compared to that of a 21 millimeter length file because a shorter files will be always rigid compared to that of a longer one. So the torque setting have to be reduced for a 25 millimeter length file compared to that of the same 21 millimeter file. At the same time, the speed can be increased for a 25 millimeter length file so that the chances for the instrument separation will be minimized. So I hope that you people are getting the concept and so if you are picking up a file from your clinic you can set the proper 
torque and speed without looking the manufacturer's instructions. So all this can be applicable for a straightforward root canal system. But what about when there is a curvature or when there is a calcification or when there is a narrow root canal? So what settings that we have to take into consideration? So whatever the file that you are using, you have to, whenever there is a curvature, you have to reduce the torque and the speed also has to be reduced. Why the speed has to be reduced when there is a curvature? Because the file will be experiencing a constant flexion and extension inside the curved canal. So if the speed is too high, the file will undergo a flexural failure. So the speed has also be reduced. Why the torque has to be reduced? In case of curvature, the file comes in contact with throughout the root canal wall. So once the surface area increases, the endomotor cannot sense the actual torque which is experienced by the file. Why? Because deep inside the curvature is blocking or the curvature will not let the endomotor to sense it. So to in a, as a safety precautionary measure that we have to always reduce the torque. So again, I will make a separate video how to control the torque and the speed and what are the types of the curvature, what we have to take into consideration whenever there is a coronal curvature and whenever there is an apical curvature and how to choose a file in all these clinical situations, I will explain because otherwise this video will become too long. I don't want to make any lengthy videos. So I hope that you get the point. Whenever there is extreme curvature, whatever the file, whichever you are using, just take a file, think about it. Whether this instrument is flexible, yes, then you can use it in a curved root canal and look at the ideal settings. So, and then reduce the torque and the speed a little more, maybe for a very curved root canal. For example, if you are using a 24 percentage taper file, you can set a torque of around 0.8 or 1 and a speed of around 250 to 300. That will be an ideal setting for a file of 24 percentage taper or 25 4 percentage taper for preparing a curved root canal. So now I will just clarify some of the doubts will the instrument fracture more at high speed so people say that we have to keep the speed at very low speed which is possible a rigid instrument will fracture more at high speed and a flexible instrument will fracture less at high speed so keep this in our mind so next doubt will be will the instrument fracture more at a higher torque again the rigid instrument will fracture less at higher torque and a flexible instrument will fracture more at a higher torque there are some manufacturers which recommends a high speed for example a light speed which has to be operated at a 2000 rotations per minute and maybe a race which has to be used at a speed of around 600 rotations and maybe the uh, true anatomy files is recommended in the speed of around 500 rpms but we always think that it has to be set around 300 range no the file design tip design whether it is active or passive the taper whether it can be one two three four five uh, nowadays all taper files are available so this taper and the cutting efficiency of the files so all these factors play an important role in determining how the speed have to be set so before concluding i wish to say that whenever the instrument is flexible you have to reduce the torque and increase the speed and the opposite for the rigid instruments and whenever you are preparing a root canal which is quite calcified or it is narrow or it is curved in those situations it is better to use a flexible instrument and we can reduce the torque and the speed so that's all for this video and i will come up with another video stay tuned and have a nice day thank you for watching